this is going to be another question and answer video. And this question had to do with the impassibility of God or the passibility of God. Does God feel emotional pain like a person can? Does God feel emotions like a person? Where there are some emotions that God does not feel. For example, you can't take God by surprise. God knows the end from the beginning. There isn't something that just suddenly occurs to God. He already knew it. For example, in Isaiah 46, 9 through 10, it says, Remember the former things of old, for I am God, and there is none else. I am God, and there is none like me. Declaring the end from the beginning, and from ancient times the things that are not yet done, saying, My counsel shall stand, and I will do all my pleasure. So you can't take the Lord by surprise. That is one emotion that he doesn't have. You can't surprise God. Did it ever occur to you that nothing ever occurred to God? He already knew it. Another one is you can't make him feel guilty because he can't sin. He's not done anything to feel guilty about. He can't sin. He can't lie, as it says in Titus 1-2, in hope of eternal life, which God that cannot lie promised before the world began. He can't feel fear. He doesn't fear anything. He doesn't fear you. He doesn't fear the devil. He doesn't fear a nation. Uh, you can't make God feel fear. But does, does God feel emotions? I believe God does feel emotions. Uh, interest is an emotion. He obviously feels interest, interest towards his creation. If he didn't, then why did his voice walk through the garden and talk to Adam after he sinned? In Genesis 3.8, it says, And they heard the voice of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day, and Adam and Eve and his wife, and Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God amongst the trees of the garden. If God didn't have interest in his creation, then why did he come down and look at the Tower of Babel? He could already see it where he was, but he took a step and came down and looked at it. In Genesis eleven five it says, And the Lord came down to see the city and the tower which the children of men built. If God didn't have an interest in his creation, then why did he go a step further and come down and walk around? Why did he send deliverers to Israel? In Judges 3, 9, it says, And when the children of Israel cried unto the Lord, the Lord raised up a deliverer to the children of Israel who delivered them. And then in Deuteronomy thirteen seventeen it says, And there shall cleave not of the cursed thing to thine hand, that the Lord may turn from the fierceness of his anger and show thee mercy and have compassion upon thee and multiply thee as he has sworn unto thy fathers psalm 112 4 and to the upright there ariseth light in the darkness he is gracious and full of compassion and righteous lamentations 332 but though he cause grief yet will he have compassion according to the multitude of his mercies compassion what a word a god of mercy grace and compassion he has way more emotions and feelings towards his creation than you have even towards your own children. In Luke fifteen ten, likewise I say unto you, there is joy in the presence of the angels of God over one sinner that repenteth. If the angels are rejoicing, wouldn't God be rejoicing as well? There is joy in the presence of the angels. If God didn't have some emotions towards his creation, then why did Jesus come in the likeness of sinful flesh? Romans 8, 3, For what the law could not do, and that it was weak through the flesh, God sending his own Son in the likeness of sinful flesh, and for sin condemns sin the flesh. 2 Corinthians 8, 9, For you know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, that though he was rich, yet for your sakes he became poor, that ye through his poverty might be rich. He, he left the riches of heaven, came down to be poor because of you. God has a lot of emotions for his creation. John three sixteen For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Why do you give to somebody a pleasure? 
God has pleasure. Revelation 4.11 Thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and power, for Thou hast created all things for Thy pleasure. They are and were created. Does God feel emotional pain? In Genesis 6.6 6, it says, And it repented the Lord that He had made men on the earth, and it grieved Him at His heart. Psalm 78.40 And how oft did they provoke Him in the wilderness and grieve Him in the desert? Ephesians 4.30 And grieve not the Holy Spirit of God whereby ye are sealed unto the day of redemption. He feels anger. Deuteronomy 9, 7. Remember and forget not how thou provokest the Lord thy God to wrath in the wilderness. God comforts you. How do you comfort someone with a broken heart if you don't have sympathy for them? In Psalm 34, 18. The Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart and saveth such as of a contrite spirit. Psalm 147, 3. He healeth the broken in heart and bindeth up their wounds. God will get the last laugh. In Proverbs 1.26, also will laugh at your calamity. I'll mock when your fear cometh. You see, God has laughter. He has wrath. He has love. He has compassion. The Spirit of God prays for you when you can't pray in Romans 8.26. It says, The Spirit itself maketh intercession forth with groanings which cannot be uttered. God tells you to do things that are holy things. In Romans 12, 15, it says, Rejoice with them that do rejoice, and weep with them that weep. So God's telling you to do that. Do you think He doesn't rejoice with them that do rejoice, and weep with them that weep? In Galatians 6, 2, it says, Bear ye one another's burdens, and so fulfill the law of Christ. Does He not bear your burdens, too? How would he bear your burden if he didn't have emotion? God does these things with man himself, and he doesn't just ask man to do something that he won't do. What we don't know is when when does God show his emotions? I mean, he sees everything that is going on at one time. There are people getting saved, and there are people committing sin at the same time. There are things going on at the same time that would provoke different emotions for him. I'm not sure how it works. I know that he is outside of time and eternity. He sees everything that is going on. He is everywhere at once. Maybe he can express all these emotions at once somehow. I'm not sure how all of this works. But we do know from the Bible that he does have emotions. And I believe in taking it literally. Now, uh, for a lot of things that God didn't feel, he did feel when he came down in the flesh. In 1 Timothy 3.16, it says, And without controversy, great is the mystery of godliness. God was manifest in the flesh. God was rich before. When he came down, he experienced what it would like to be poor. God never gets tired, but when he came down in the flesh, he went to sleep. God doesn't get hungry. When he came down in the flesh, he got hungry, especially in Matthew chapter 4, where you can see he suffered fasting for 40 days and 40 nights. He knows what hunger feels like more than you do. He felt rejection before he came down in the, in the flesh. But when he came down in the flesh, he felt it from his brothers and sisters in the flesh. Jesus wept, even. Search the word compassion in the Gospels, and you'll see that Jesus Christ was constantly moved with compassion towards people. God doesn't feel physical pain, but when he came down in the flesh, he did. He was beaten and hung on the cross to pay for our sins and suffered every bit of it. 1 Peter 4, 1 says, For he that hath suffered in the flesh has ceased from sin. And it says, For as much then as Christ had suffered for us in the flesh, arm yourselves likewise with the same mind. Hebrews four fifteen, For we have not an high priest which cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmities, but was in all points tempted like as we are yet without sins. The emotions you have, laughter, joy, interest, sympathy, and all these things God put in you because you're who he wants to fellowship with. Imagine if your husband or wife never laughed or felt joy or had any sympathy or interest in you. That wouldn't be much of a relationship. God has emotions like we do. And emotions or feelings that we feel that aren't sinful or against his nature that he didn't have before he had when he came down in the flesh when he came down the flesh, he felt pain, and the devil could no longer come to him and say, you can't say anything about man because you've never had physical pain. 
You've never experienced that like they're experiencing it. God said, okay, I'll come down there and I'll experience it firsthand and go through the whole thing sinless.